What is up YouTube? It is Margo. Today I'm going to be sharing with you eight different ways that you can reduce your food waste today. So the first thing I am going to talk about is don't buy duplicates. Now this is something that I have been guilty of for quite some time now. I will go to the store and I do this especially with canned goods and dried goods, packaged goods, all those things. I will be like, oh, I don't have any black beans. And so I buy a can of black beans or I don't have any coconut milk. And now I have like four cans of coconut milk and have to figure out what I'm gonna do with them. So to avoid things like that and just allowing things to sit, for me, it's especially in my pantry, but maybe you're somebody who buys too much produce or duplicates of things that you put in your freezer. A good way to really do that is to not buy duplicates. Now that brings me to my second point, a way that you cannot buy duplicates is to track what you already have. Take an inventory of your fridge, take an inventory of your pantry, of your freezer. And there's actually an app for this that I found recently called No Waste. And I have taken an inventory now of my entire pantry, my entire freezer and my entire refrigerator. And it shows me exactly what I have, how much of it that I have. And it's all in one place. So if I'm at the store and I'm like, oh man, I don't know if I have any rice. I can look and check in my pantry and say, oh, yep, I do have rice, I don't have to buy any. So that is a really great way to help reduce your food waste. And that brings me to my third point. Make a meal plan and a grocery list and stick to that list. I have been guilty of in the past so often of one, not planning a meal and I would go to the store, I would buy a bunch of random items in hopes that I could make something good out of them later. It doesn't work. It doesn't work like that. I had a lot of really boring meals most of the time and I would just end up making like a wrap or a sad stir fry and that's not fun. So I've started meal planning. I'm way more creative with my cooking now and when I go to the store, I stick to my list and I don't buy anything extra. This is a way that I not only save money but also waste less food because I have less food going bad because I'm not overbuying, especially produce, which I was guilty of a lot in the past. Right. My fourth point is try to start composting. I have not started composting yet. I am really looking forward to composting. I'm researching how to do it currently and places in my area where I can take food scraps, hopefully. But something that you can do is keep your compost in the freezer. I don't have any space in my freezer currently, unfortunately, or I would be doing that. But if you can compost, if you have composted in the past and are no longer doing it, try picking it up again. It's a really great way to reduce your food waste. Next, my fifth point is kind of in the same realm of composting, but saving your veggie odds and ends for veggie stock. This is something that I started doing all the way back in January or February, and I had a plastic bag in my freezer that I have just been putting veggies into. This includes onion skins, like the tops and bottoms of radishes, the middle part of kale, just really anything that I cut up that was a veggie, I just threw in there and I recently made veggie stock. It turned out really great. I've made two soups, so I would highly recommend it. You also get to control how much sodium goes into it, which is a really big thing for a lot of people. They are watching their sodium intake. So that's a great way for you to kind of take control of that aspect of a soup, because soups are often when you buy them from the store and veggie stocks are often so full of sodium and this way you can not only reduce your food waste but you can reduce your sodium intake as well. I believe I said my last point was my fifth point. This is my fifth point. So this one's really specific but I've talked about it before. I'll say it again. Buy single bananas in the store. They are the ones that get thrown away. So if you're somebody who is like me, buys a lot of bananas for smoothies, buy single bananas. Freeze some, eat the rest, eat them all, freeze them all. It's really up to you, but that's a really small way, but that is a way that we can help reduce food waste very easily. My sixth point is to use apps like Olio. Olio is an app that I have just recently come across that is specifically for food waste. So if you have food that's going bad, you can post it on the app and somebody else may want it. So if you realize you have a bunch of cilantro that you're not going to use, you could post it on Olio and somebody else might be interested in it and they can take it. You can request food on the app. You can get rid of your food. You can intake other people's food. I have not yet posted anything on Olio, but I think I will in the future for maybe some of my dried goods that I don't use very often and don't see myself using 
anytime soon. My seventh point is to use your food in creative ways. Now, this is something that can be as easy as throwing some potatoes into a soup that didn't originally call for potatoes, but it can also be even more creative than that. I was recently watching a YouTube video where a woman had cilantro that was going bad, so she made it into cilantro pesto. That's never something that I thought about doing. I think that's a really cool concept. I actually have a bunch of cilantro that's gonna go bad if I don't use it, so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing with it. So try to get creative with your food. You can make cooking a creative outlet, which is what I've started doing, and it's so much fun to try and see how you can use all the food you have so that you have as little waste output as possible. My final point, my eighth point, is to freeze excess food and freeze food that might be going bad if you don't use it. So for me, I often do this with pineapple, with kale, with spinach. You can also make large batches of food and freeze it. So you can do this with soups, with beans, there's a lot of ways that you can do this. This is something a lot of people are already doing, but if it's something that you have not yet implemented into your life, it is a great way to help reduce our food waste output. Thank you so much for watching those eight tips that I had for you on how to reduce your food waste. I really appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day and let's start reducing our food waste together as a community. Bye.